finally out on the grill. This is gonna be a different uh, style uh, cook. I have a little bit of uh, briquettes. I don't have that much uh, hickory wood chips, so I'm gonna use a little at a time. The baby back ribs will barely fit in this section of the cheddar. So I'm gonna try to keep the heat low, let that hickory uh, smoke, and then uh, let's see what we can do on this cook. I, I'm gonna post another video of this one. I just wanna make these videos kind of short, kind of like a little series. So that's what I'm gonna start doing. Instead of doing long videos, kind of cut it down a little bit, put them in segments and different videos. That, that, that way I have more content. So let's do it. All right, guys, we let our uh, ribs sweat out. We have our charcoal, that little flame, just because I have it open for a little bit. I'm gonna put this down. And they barely fit right there. Then we close it. So on this cook, I'm gonna have it wide open and facing on the sides. Not this side, not that side, towards the sides. That way it gets the even cook towards the middle. Then what I'll do is I'll flip the rack, have the rack facing the other way, and get it cooking. Let's do it. So we had to move uh, the charcoal around to the right side. It was in the middle. The ribs uh, shrunk a little bit. So he pushed them all the way to the left. So now it's like an offset. So we're gonna let it smoke. Look at the coloring. About an hour in, guys. It looks good. There's about the two and a half hour mark. Look at these ribs, you guys. I'm telling you guys, behind the scenes, it's a rough one. Moving the fire, always managing the smoke. You gotta be on top of it if you wanna cook on a little cheddar. Only the strong prevail when they cook on the cheddar. You know, Rick, he has a 14 inch cheddar. I don't know, this is an 18 inch. Rick, you know, you know the struggle. My Theo Rick right there. Check it out. Looking good. Ooh Is the seasoning on that? Let's get it guys. Three hour mark, look at the ribs guys. Look at that color on the ribs. Still smoking over here. Looks good. Gonna keep on smoking. Look at that. All right, you guys. So I decided not to wrap them. I'm gonna leave them in this tray, just the way they're sitting. Shout out to Donald Duck. Oh, what? You guys heard that? Look at it. Uh, look at that, he's all talking and stuff. Look at him. We're gonna throw some right here on the tray. Just so that way, when it hits the fire, it gets a little vapor in there. And uh, cooks it a little bit, uh, 
more easier. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of water in there just to di dilute it a little bit. Throw some seasoning, put it back on the cheddar and we're good. Let it vapor up the ribs. Let's see some bones and we're good. Once you have it on your cheddar, you see? Sides are sticking out, so just push it back. The lid might not close as good, but it's all right. See how I moved that fire? Fire was over here. It's a lot of work when you're cooking on a small grill. If you want to smoke, it's a lot of dedication. You can't fail. You got to be on it. It's not like my offset where I just throw in logs and kick it and drink. This one I have to be on it every like 10 to 15 minutes. That's what I don't think you guys understand. When cooking on a grill like this, it's gonna be a lot harder, especially I'm smoking. I'm not grilling you guys. This is smoking right here. All right, you guys, so it's been about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. I'm not keeping track, I'm drinking. So uh, let's check out these ribs. So wrap them. Oh, these things are hot. You guys wanna see some steam right now? Some good old steam. Look at the pullback. Look at that, you guys. Pork tender. Yes, sir. Or yes, ma'am. We're gonna put these back on the grill. Hit them on the fire side for maybe about 30 minutes. There you guys. Look at the coloring on the ribs. Amazing what a cheddar can do. So uh, go to your uh, local Mexican market, pick yourself one up. They're only 20 bucks, and they can make amazing ribs like this. It's not me, honestly, for real. I'm not a chef. I don't even know how to cook. This is like uh, like Mike. You know when he wears the shoes, the cheddars. That's the grill. It's like like Mike. I don't know how to cook at all. It, I just let the cheddar do its thing. I, I maybe fan the, you know, to make the fire go up, but it's a cheddar. It's on the cheddar, guys. This is all on the cheddar. Look at that. So good. All right, you guys. So we're gonna put the ribs back onto the grill. And let those cook for about another 30 minutes. Pretty much what we're doing right here, just letting them char just a little bit. I'm gonna put the lid on right now and let these bad boys cook 15 minutes on each side and we should be good to eat. They're already tender from uh, the orange juice and the little water mixture. If I had or more orange juice, I would put more orange, orange juice, but I had it diluted with water. But it's still good. You still get that uh, that flavor. You know what? I still have that mixture. Uh, let me pour. Let me pour it in there real quick. Right on top. Look at that. All right. Let it sizzle. Throw the lid. Blame be gone.
for the ribs are done. Put the coloring on them, guys. I'm about to take them off the chevron. Let them rest for about 15 minutes. And we're gonna drill on. smoke it like a smoker it's gonna come out like a smoker you guys have a good one hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully you learned some tips stay wrapping you guys I never show this part guys but I wanted to show you guys how easy these ribs are, are to cut Look at that, super easy. Look at that, you guys. Let's see, see that pinkish? That's a little uh, smoke ring that we're getting from the Trevor. You guys can see, I'm proving it to you guys. You guys don't need Big grills, you guys don't need uh, expensive grills. $20 grill? Not that bad, you guys. Not that bad. I'm telling you, it's like Mike, you guys. Buy yourself a Trevor. I don't even know how to cook, you guys. There's all the Trevor. Long live the Trevor. 